So hello everyone, it's Damien and James here again from carrypat.com and today we're going to be looking yet again at the EEE pad transformer from ASUS and today's session is all about throwing as many connectivity uh, devices as we can at the uh, transformer and um, it's going to be ranging from, you know, you've got USB keyboards, USB hard drives, uh, we've even got a stowaway Bluetooth keyboard that we want to try and connect up. We're going to be throwing a USB mouse along with um, a couple of um, USB flash drives. So to kickstart things, um, Damien's going to have a quick show um, at the base. So Damien, you want, to, you want to go for it? So we're going to have to start looking at um, the base and what sort of connections we have. I know we went through it um, in the first part one of the video, but um, let's just go through it for the sake of for, for our audiences. Yeah, we'll have a look around because we have to bear in mind that the transform itself doesn't have a lot of connectivity options on the tablet. All you've really got is a micro SD card slot and HDMI out, of course, but the dock adds a lot of functionality because you're adding two USB ports and a full-size SD card mm -hmm. slot as well. So what you have in addition to the battery, trackpad, keyboard, um, you've actually got one USB port on this side, full-size USB, a full-size SD card slot, which is really cool, I think, because you can take an SD card out of a still camera or a camcorder, pop it straight in here and access the files. Um, on the other side, you that's your proprietary charging connector and you also have another full-size USB port. So I think that that's kind of interesting to think about is that the dock adds that functionality. Now there is um, apparently plans to bring out some adapters for the tablet itself. Uh, an SD card and a full USB sized adapter that will plug into the proprietary port on the tablet and I think that that will be cool because it will add that connectivity to the tablet itself but at the moment we'll have a look at the dock because that's how we're going to connect these devices um, now we actually haven't tested this so you're getting a real world test here mm. <coughs> they may work, they may not work, we'll just check it out okay well let's start with the USB Samsung keybox shall we? yeah that's where we go okay. um, I, I do find these port covers a little annoying, I must say, because they're, um, they, they seem to have some kind of spring in it that it automatically actually closes up. Um, mm -hmm. And quite often, if you just let it go, it will actually pop back in. And I do struggle a bit to get, mm -hmm. <coughs> get so, things connected so pretty with much one hand. Yeah, <laughs> put one finger in and... I see, you kind of need three hands to do it. Okay, I'll probably just give it a few seconds and see if that detects the old keyboard. So this keyboard you got here, James, actually has a little track, yeah. track uh, stick mm. thing on sure it as does well, indeed. so it'd be mm -hmm. interesting to see whether that works. Yeah. Um, where's our mouse here? It's off to the side. Mm. Hey, look at that. That's hey. cool. It works. Excellent. Okay, might might be worth at this point in time also pointing out that you've done the uh, system update just last yeah, week. Yeah, we're I running, think, yeah. Um, we're actually running, we'll go to the settings here, yeah. we're, we've just updated to 3.0. 01, I think it is now. Um, oh, where's my settings? Uh, just went through about tablets. So yeah, oh, it is 3.1. So we're running full version 3.1 now. Okay. And that was mm. pushed out, yeah, probably last week. Mm. It's interesting because before, prior to the update, I remember you know we were talking about shoving in a, um, a USB mouse, which didn't seem to work. So uh, yeah, that's right. Um, it, it kind of worked. That was a Bluetooth mouse actually and it okay. kind of selected icons but it didn't actually run the mouse pointer so that might be worth check, checking again. Okay. Yeah, it's interesting because on the Iconia which was running a 3.0.1 I think 3 .0 update that I had, uh, when I stuck in the USB mouse it didn't seem to work. So it'll be interesting, you know, the, the next update uh, for the Iconia, whether that's going to resolve that issue of not, not being able to detect the USB mouse. Absolutely. Okay. Now this is interesting because the little buttons on this keyboard are working to select as well, which is okay. very cool. Um, and the keypad looks to be working. Um, all the selection keys work. Mouse pointer and buttons. So that's great. Um, you know, interesting, I found this with the browser on this device as well. We're getting the mobile version mm. of CarryPad, so it is presenting as a mobile browser. And we would have to force it to go to the... Um, to the kind of full web experience because it's it's presenting as a mobile browser. I don't know whether the other browsers like Dolphin or anything present as a mobile by default, but certainly this is the standard Android browser yep. and it's coming in as a mobile device. Okay, that's great. 
Okay, so strike one. That's cool. That's yeah, good. good. Okay, so that takes care of the USB keyboard. So, for um, if anyone's interested, so the model name of this Samsung keyboard that I'm using now is Triple A dash SK Zero TK or B for Bobby D slash UK. So it's a UK keyboard from Samsung that I'm using, which seems to work really well with the um, transformer. Okay, the next device that we're looking at now is just um, a USB mouse, which Damien's plugging in at the moment. Let's see if it that lights works. up. Oh, straight in. That's great. Beautiful. This is, no offense, looks like a pretty old mouse there, James. <laughs> um, <laughs> it is. So that's kind of cool. That seems to work. Let's check the buttons out. Yep. Great. So that selects, and the right mouse button goes back, which is mm. um, a standard kind of um, functionality for Android. This trackpad on the device does that as well. Left mouse button to select. Um, right mouse button acts as a back button. Yep. Um, interestingly, the scroll wheel is working on this mouse as well, so that's mm. excellent. We're getting full functionality. Mm. That's great because a lot of people, you know, obviously want a USB mouse for productivity rather than a trackpad. So that's going to be a nice addition. Yeah, addition. absolutely. Now that's working to scroll pulse, which is an RSS reader as well. Mm -hmm. So that's great. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Out of the box works well. Cute. Um, one thing you won't go with a mouse, obviously, and something that I haven't seen mentioned a lot, this trackpad is actually um, multi-touch, which I find really cool. It's similar to a, a kind of a MacBook or something like that. Two fingers will actually scroll both up and down and left and right um, on this trackpad. So that's kind of really a cool feature of this trackpad. But yeah, I love it. The mouse works. Okay, so it's two out of two so far. Yeah, we're doing all right. Shall we try the... Um, Big USB hard drive. Yep. It's going to be an interesting one. Okay, the um, the subject matter in this case is an ABIX multimedia hard drive enclosure I have. Now this one you've had issues with it powering off devices, haven't mm. you? Mm-hmm. Yep. So let's see what we get. We got a light, which is yep. looking good. Preparing external storage, so that um, well, it's good because um, most of the time, you know, if 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 the device that's trying to power up this this um, hard drive unit is having problems, the HDD light won't even light up. So it's nice that it's got a couple of um, clicks. Yep, we're in. It's wonderful. There okay. we go. Very nice. Looking like a dream. Um, yeah, that's cool. Wonderful. I like it. Okay. Perfect. Lovely. Okay, so that works as well. I'll eject them. Oh yeah. yeah. Remember, we're not on Windows here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's done. Right, okay. that's great. Um, Shall we go for the USB? No, oh, actually, let's try the, um, yeah, the let's, SD card. Let's try the SD card. Yep. This, okay. um, this is actually a high-speed class 6 32 gigabyte SDHC card. Um, now, in the full-size USB slot, uh, sorry, SD card slot here on the dock, it works fine. You can access yep. the drive. What I wanted to check out was whether we could access it through um, an SD card reader, which is a USB one, mm. um, and see whether, you know, the theory is it can see the card, it should be able to see it through USB as well. So, yep, that's looking good. Preparing external storage there. Um, a neat thing of this, I think is a, an ASUS um, customization of Android is I can actually just click on the hard drive down in the kind of taskbar thing here mm. and I get two options. I can either eject the drive or access the file explorer directly from here so I don't have to dig around to find it. Mm. And yeah, so there it is. That's that's, uh, that's working fine. Really good. Mm, sweet. So that's, that's accessing the SD card which means theoretically pull it straight out of your video or still camera and plug it into a card reader um, or you can plug it straight into the um, full size SD card slot but if it supports this card reader theoretically you can plug in XD or Memory Stick, Memory Stick Pro Duo I've tested a Memory Stick Pro Duo and it works as well so that's that's a good thing um, what we might try now is just a generic kind of USB thumb drive mm. um, which you know it's 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 a a very common thing that people are going to be sharing files on a USB thumb drive. Mm -hmm. So I think yep. that that's a kind of killer feature. Wow, that just mounted already. And because I was in the um, file explorer, I didn't close it from before. It's just popped straight up. And uh, there's all the files. So that's great. 
In fact, what I haven't tested here, um, we did some tests before on 1080p and 720p WMV files. Um, these, my Atrix can play no problems. The, the E-pad should be able to play them. We might just play them off the thumb drive and have a look, huh? Yep, sounds good. Whoa. Yeah, that's got the same issues as before. Uh, so even after the system update, yeah, promises a performance, doesn't really translate here. No, that's okay. not planned at all, and it's obviously having a great deal of trouble there with the the video and sound. Mm. Um, and this is the 720p one. Okay, so it's just as jumpy as before, so it's mm. not it's not really coping, and it's lost, lost the sound. sound. Mm. Yeah, so the update hasn't really done anything for us there. It's a bit disappointing. Um. All right, good. So that's a thumb drive. Pretty happy with that yeah. as well. It's good to just basically have different connectivity options. You know, you can share files, but again, remember it's with the dock. So what really makes this machine functional is adding the dock. Yeah. Um, because we don't have those ports on the device itself. Yeah. Well, one of the things we can demonstrate without the dock, thankfully, is obviously HDMI out. Yeah, so absolutely. Let's undock that. Have a look. Yeah. Okay, make our way over to a rather old Panasonic 32-inch LCD TV. Mostly. Now, remember this is actually a mini HDMI, not a micro HDMI. Mm. Micro HDMI seems to be more common format. That's what my Atrix uses. Yep. Uh, and I think that's what the Iconia, the Acer Iconia tab uses as well as micro HDMI. So this mini HDMI mm. I picked up at a camera store because I think it's more common as a video or still camera format, but um, I did have a, a struggle to find this. Most places had micro HDMI, but not mini. Well, at least the good news is that it's not proprietary. You can actually buy it from a camera store. Yeah, and of course you can good. get them on the web a lot easier. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. Okay, let's just fire up the old LCD TV. Okay. No issues with the display mirroring. No, that's coming right. Up. One thing you'll notice on the tablet itself, when you plug in the HDMI, you get this little connector here saying you're plugged in, but that taskbar expands, it kind of doubles in size. Mm -hmm. So you can see how it's kind of clipped the bottom of the um, the app title there. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And I notice on the screen, we're missing kind of where it's saying gallery and music and stuff. We're chopping off the That's right, we don't see the, the bottom no, there. Yeah. There's no, no sign of the uh, notification thing. bar already. Mm. Yeah, so okay. we're kind of getting. Eee. And mm. it's frozen. That's interesting. Let's try that again. Yeah. Okay, so the device is responsive. And you can see how the taskbar has actually shrunk now. Yep. Mm. I'll plug that in again. Mm. Oh, there we go. There we go. Just Backing a bit of a lag in. there. Well, nothing like real life usage tests. Absolutely. Okay, so well, let's have a look. Um, maybe we'll just jump into the gallery and see if we've got any video on here. Yep. So um, let's find something we can play. <laughs> yeah, it's just a still, sorry. Um, actually, while we're in here, on the big screen, we have a look at this. These are some of the accessories that are supposed to be coming out. So we've got, this is actually, the, we'll plug into the proprietary dock connector and add a full size USB port. And there's a similar connector which will add an SD card reader. And this is actually an adapter for um, VGA. Yep. Um, mm. So that, that's pretty cool. I'll be looking forward to those coming out. That'll yeah. add a lot of functionality. Um, all right, let's find a video file. There must be something on here. He says, and has nothing on there. <laughs> I'm sure I got something on this little micro SD. I always find it a struggle to get it in. You have to kind of dig deep to get that mm -hmm. disc in. There we go, micro SD. 
Okay, so actually these two Amazon files I downloaded just recently. One's a 720p, one's a 1080p. Whoa. So that's actually got quite a few issues, mm -hmm. even with the 720p. And the 1080p is... Well, we can't use the word all. Mm. Horrible, horrible. Um, Interestingly, I had this file sent to me the other day, the, the MP4. Um, if we play it through the video, video player it comes with. Yep. Mm. Turn the sound out of it. That's got no issues at all playing through the video player. So it obviously right. supports MP4 and it supports 3GP. Um, so that's good. But yeah, really, that wildlife video, that's the horses. Mm -hmm. Same sort of issue. Yeah. It's keeping just a bit choppy. And to yeah. tell the truth, that is actually a 720p video, but that's coming out pretty pixelated. Mm. So, and it's lost the sound. So again, we're still struggling with um, with actually getting HD videos to play, which is a bit disappointing. So mm. I was hoping that would be fixed by the um, update, but obviously not. Um, but one thing we might look at, how are we going for time? Uh, 16, 16 and a half minutes. Yeah, uh, we might one more last thing. Um, the update did add this movie studio while we got it on the big screen. Uh -huh. um, and this is, this is kind of cool. It's basically a video editor and it looks pretty, pretty functional. Um, oh, it's not doing HDMI out for that. So okay. only on the screen. Um, but we might, we might look at that in another video and I'll take you through adding video files and and actually doing a bit of video editing because it's quite fully functional. Oh, lovely. Cool. All right. That's us for now. Yep. So thanks a lot for joining us and um, see you in the next video. Bye.